My name is Liam O'Brien and for my vlog assignment I've started to do acetic acid because it is found in vinegar. It's significant to me because in 2010 my sister was stung by Bosch jellyfish in North Queensland. Here's where she was stung. Basically after she'd been pulled from the water the lifeguard came over two bottles of vinegar similar to this. Started pouring it onto her leg. Uh, just fully straight onto the stingers. Interesting because about this much of it, acetic acid, about 150 mils in a 2 litre bottle. And interesting to me because this might, may or may not have helped to save her life. As I mentioned before, it's one of the key ingredients of vinegar, it gives it its um, taste and smell. One of the simplest carboxylic acid, basically carboxylic acid contains a carbon atom double bonded to an oxygen atom and singularly bonded to a hydroxyl component. Here we have the specific molecular structure of acetic acid on the right, the carbon double bonded to the oxygen and singly bonded to the hydroxyl making it a carboxyl acid and on the left making the CH3 making it specifically acetic acid. Molecular formula C2H4O2 around 60 grams per mole. It can also be represented using a line diagram like everything which I actually drew myself. Carbon double bonded to the oxygen. Carbon over here bonded to three hydrogens. On the right we have the structural representation, the bold line indicating the bonds coming out of the page and the dotted line indicating the bonds actually going back into the page. As I mentioned before, it's key ingredient in vinegar, makes up about 8% and it's thought that vinegar actually stops stingers from discharging into the human victim that haven't been discharged. And exactly how this works is very contentious among researchers and how the acetic acid within the vinegar works is um, it's thought to just neutralize the venom because it's alkaline based but yeah very contentious and very complex area of biochemistry it's also used widely in industry um, in the production of glue film synthetic fibers and fabrics it's used in the food industry as an acidity regulator or condiment and in in its pure form freezes at only 16.5 degrees Celsius to a crystalline solid. Thank you for listening.